Welcome back everybody to Hayes Tech ROM Reviews. Um, this is the second in a part that I'm uh, in a several part uh, video review that I'm doing on uh, what am I running on my device. Um, I brought it up uh, before on my last video that I did for the Nexus 6 um, that I've been getting some requests from you guys lately about uh, you know asking me what, what, what do you run on your uh, on your devices. Um, and, uh, of course, uh, my video that I did uh, for the Nexus 6 was um, uh, 6ROM. Now, for my 6P, uh, I normally run a Marshmallow ROM on it. Uh, I do like to keep uh, OMS on one, uh, on one device and then uh, CMTE on another device. Uh, that way, uh, it's a really quick way for me to test out different themes, uh, so on. Um, you know, because, of course, obviously, I can't run... Uh, CMT on OMS or vice versa. So, um, for me, I run uh, Resurrection Remix Marshmallow. I love it. Uh, I switch between Resurrection Remix and AOKP uh, for um, the Nexus 6P. And now, AOKP is a really, really viable option if you guys like Marshmallow like me. Um, and here's the reason why um, they're still building for Marshmallow, uh, they're still updating it as far as they can, uh, they're still making changes to it. Uh, fixing, you know, bug fixes, stuff like that. Uh, they actually put out a release um, the 3rd of this month, uh, again. And I think they had a release a week before that. So they're, they're putting out like two, uh, at least one to two um, builds per month yet. They're still building for it. So that's awesome. Uh, I would love it if they kept, you know, building a marshmallow build. Um, I'm not going to get into the uh, specifics of that, um, but, you know, that that's just the way I, I feel. Uh, you know, again, guys, I, I love OMS. I'm really starting to get used to it. Uh, I, you know, I think it's a, a, a definite a good option for us to have, especially since we have no options right now for Nougat. Um, so it is great that we have it. Uh, but I, again, I like CMTE themes a little better. I just like the way it themes. Um, when I, when I uh, click on, like if I go to my, G, my Google Plus, um, it, it doesn't first start out. Well, <laughs> this is not a good example of that, but anyways, guys, um, I just like it. I like CMTE better. I like the way it themes. Anyways, uh, the ROM I'm running, again, is Resurrection Remix. Now, this is their last build uh, for official. Anyways, there are a couple floating out there, unofficial builds, uh, and I can't remember exactly which ones they are, but um, I do remember seeing them somewhere. Uh, but this is an official build, and I think this is 11, or this is 10.8. Uh, yeah, 10 8 2016. Uh, I was almost certain that this was a, uh, a November build, but I guess I'm wrong. Uh, and uh, I'm running Flash Kernel with this. Um, everything's working great. Uh, the battery with Flash Kernel is good. Uh, another uh, kernel I highly recommend is Franco Kernel, uh, especially if you guys want to run a kernel that is very, very good on battery. Um, Franco's one of those kernels, man, that just, you know, gives you those, um, those settings right out of the gate. Um, so, you know, that, that's another option. Um, I am running a theme on this. Uh, if you guys want, I'll take the theme off so you can see what it looks like without it. Although, um, you're, I'm not actually doing a video review on the ROM per se, uh, as much as I am just showing you guys, you know, what I have on my device. Um, you know, and what basically, you know, I'm going to go ahead and leave the theme on. What I'm going to do quickly is, uh, you know, I'll just go through the configurations really quickly. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it, but uh, I will let you guys see what's in the configurations again. Uh, if you guys are familiar with uh, Resurrection Remix, you know what all is in here. Uh, this is one of those ROMs that goes over the top, uh, and I love it. I, I love it both in uh, Marshmallow and in Nougat. Um, again, I really wish they had CMTE and Nougat, but obviously... We're not going to have that. Um, but uh, I will tell you guys this. Um, Resurrection Remix is now uh, officially building with OMS uh, support. And that's not legacy. That's actual OMS support. Um, so it's uh, substratum with OMS support, meaning uh, that you can, um, you can set up your themes and, uh, and you don't have to reboot your device. So... Uh, notifications and drawers. I guess I did hit that. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, quick settings panel. Uh, these are your settings for that. Uh, remember, guys, you can go in here and change just about everything in this. Um, your pull down. Let me see here. Uh, number of rows per tile. 
Uh, that's not really what I wanted to show. Oh, here's one of the things I really miss about Marshmallow. Um, when it went to Nougat, we could only have five rows. Um, and then you had to swipe to the right. And then you had to swipe to the right. This is the way, whoops, this is the way I like um, my uh, quick settings to be. Um, when you pull down on this, I like to have everything all on one screen. I don't like swiping to the right. This is what I liked so much about Marshmallow. I do miss this in Nougat. Um, I think the uh, blur and everything else is under panel controls, if I'm not mistaken. Um, next up is going to be, uh, whoop, I just did that quick settings. Yes, I just did that. Uh, here are the nav bar. Um, of course, they have fling settings. If you guys want to run with fling, uh, you just go with fling like that. Um, these are the settings for fling. Because I know a lot of you guys out there do like to run fling, so that's the uh, settings for that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go back into uh, uh, smart bar. Um, it does come with pulse, uh, which I like. Yeah, and, and the other thing I like, obviously, about um, Resurrection Remix is all the color options that we have. I love a ROM that I can just change the colors on just about everything. Uh, you guys know me. I've said it in the past. I hate white on a ROM. I don't mind a little bit, but, man, when it's just bright white, oh, man, I really don't like it. Um, and when you have an AMOLED screen, it's just so nice to have a nice black screen. It helps with your battery. Uh, it's easy on the eyes. Uh, it's That's just the way I like it. Uh, power menu, they give you plenty of options on the power menu. Um, you know, there's where your advanced reboot is, just in case you guys are looking. If you want that one-click reboot option, uh, that's right here is where you go for that. Um, trying to think. Uh, again, I don't want to spend a lot of time on this. Uh, recents, recent styles, you guys can go right into your recent styles and just change that all around if you want. Uh, you can color everything. Uh, if you use the Task Viewer header, you can color all that as well. Uh, they do have a memory bar with this, which is awesome. Uh, they also have the search bar. If you want, you can run it uh, as well. Uh, I don't like the search bar. I think I skipped over the button controller. No, that was with the power menu. Um, lock screens next. Uh, you do have your security and all that. Uh, gestures, uh, lock screen UI. Uh, this is going to be a, where you can turn your, uh, I think, the weather, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, no, your charge, ooh, uh, charging current. There's another nice option. Um, and it, I do see that in some of the uh, uh, Nougat ROMs that are out where when you plug it in, you can actually see what the current is as you're charging your phone. That way, if you're having a charging issue, just look at what it's charging at, what the current is, and check your uh, brick and see if it's the output is what you know it says on your, uh, on your charging brick. If it's not, then you know you have an issue. Uh, first thing I would do is change out the brick, then change out your cable. And if you get a new brick and a new cable and it's still not charging right, nine times out of ten, your battery's, it's either your battery bad or um, you have a bad USB connection. So uh, there's your weather options all the way at the bottom. Uh, click on your weather options. Uh, you can go with what you want with that. Um, again, guys, I'm not going to be able to hit everything on here. Uh, one of the nice things I like uh, under the animations on this um, and they do have it included in Nougat, and that is the scrolling modifier. Uh, this was, and still is, uh, an option with exposed modules, if you guys have run exposed in the past, um, where it gives you a very, very fast scrolling speed to go through long, long lists, uh, Play Store, um, anything that's got a really big-ass list. Uh, it, you, you can scroll through it very, very quickly with this. Um... Let me see here. Uh, oh, also under the animations, uh, I have mine set up for the power menu. Uh, I have mine set up for rotation. So if I hit my power menu, it'll come in rotating, which is pretty cool. Uh, gestures is up next. Uh, you do have your gesture anywheres and your app circle bar. And I don't even have the app circle bar on, guys. Um, if you're not familiar with it, uh, again, um, this isn't a full review. Uh, but basically, you turn it on, you pick some apps that you want, and I'm just going to pick a couple just to show you how to do it. Uh, you click OK to save You click OK to save them like that, um, and then you want to set up your trigger width, uh, height, and area where you want it at, um, and then you're good to go. So anywhere when you, when you press on that part of the screen, uh, you'll get this little wheel that only has the apps in it that you chose, uh, which is a pretty cool option. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off now, but uh, it's a nice feature to have. Um, and, of course, gesture anyway. It's, just, it's something I don't use, but you can actually set up gestures uh, to do pretty much anything you want to do with it. Um, you know, that you combine that with your uh, 
uh, with your fling or you know yeah your fling settings and it's it's just pretty cool you can do just about anything with gestures uh, multitasking um, you're gonna have your multi window uh, and then of course your floating windows and your pie control if you guys are into that I didn't try the pie on this because uh, I don't usually uh, use pie that much let me make sure the gravity's on the left it is uh, let's go ahead and try it their pie is working uh, and notice on pie Let's see if I can bring it up again. Uh, that it actually has the icons from the theme that, that I'm running right now. So that's pretty cool too. Uh, and again, you guys can just mess with that all you want. Um, next up would be miscellaneous. Uh, this is going to be your SE Linux uh, switch if you guys want to change that option uh, to enforcing or permissive. Uh, this is where you'll do it as long as the kernel um, allows it. And I'm almost 100% sure. Uh, okay, let me say I'm, I'm about 95% sure that the supplied kernel um, does uh, actually allow for uh, switching between permissive and enforcing. Uh, you have your DOZE, doze mode, uh, restart uh, system UI, which is an awesome tool to have. Uh, that also comes on the power menu if you select that in the uh, power menu options, uh, which I like, I uh, use a lot. Um, ad blocker, that's all there. If you click on that, uh, you know, you can actually, you know, enable it or disable it. Um, and I actually want to disable it. No, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to disable it. Uh, <laughs> disable. There we go. Um, yeah, I just did that. Sorry. And last but not least is going to be your updates. Uh, this is going to be where you go to up, you know, check updates. Uh, you can check change logs, stuff like that. But of course, uh, there are no updates for Marshmallow. This is the last build, so. Um, you, you know, that's kind of a moot point there. But um, the theme that I'm running uh, is actually a, a kind of a mixture. Um, what Basically what I'm running is the base theme is called uh, Shadows, I think. Let me find it. It is, come on, where are you at? Right there. Yeah, it's called Shadows. Uh, that's the base theme I'm running. Uh, basically... Uh, all my switches are shadows, and um, the um, the status bar in that is shadows. Now I am running um, transparent black for my uh, for my system fonts uh, and stuff like that, and of course for my nav bars I'm running vibrance uh, for my nav bars. So that is pretty much it, guys. That's what I run on my uh, on my devices. Um, I do run Nova Launcher. I don't run the newest version of Nova Launcher. I run 3.3. Uh, that's the version I like. I don't like anything newer than that, so I always run 3.3 uh, .3 Nova Launcher. It's just my preference, um, and I don't, you know, uh, you know, the way I feel, guys, if you like the new uh, Nova Launcher, good on you. Run it. Um, that's what's great about Android, uh, the choices. Um, and no, and nobody's right, you know. Everybody's right in, in what they're running. So, you know, I, I would never put anybody down for what they run or what they use. Um, you know, and it's, it's just the way it is. Uh, that's why I like Android. Although things anymore are getting to the point where we're starting to lose a lot of that control, uh, which is a sad thing for Android. Well, guys, there you have it. Uh, that's what I'm running on uh, my Nexus 6P. Um, again, uh, for Nougat, uh, when I do run Nougat, um, and which I do uh, as well, I do run Nougat on this uh, device too. Um, I'm usually running 6ROM. Um, it's just, it has everything I need. So that's what I run for Nougat. Uh, but this device usually has Marshmallow on it. So just so you know, uh, I do switch between, uh, again, uh, Resurrection Remix uh, and uh, the latest uh, AOKP. Although Resurrection Remix has way more options. Um, I just, uh, I don't know, AOKP is just, I guess, kind of cool because they keep it updated. Guys, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. I want to thank all of my subscribers, uh, and I will see you guys on the next one.